Okay, Sunday, 18th of February, 2024. So here I am in Thorsby Park right now. Yes, a lot of green and field nearby. So remember our roots. So remembering your roots. Now, I used to live not far from here, a few kilometers away, a small little town called Ollerton. In fact, back in December, I recorded a video when I was literally on the street and the forest, well, the street where I used to live and the forest adjacent to where I used to live back in the day. So this concept, remember your roots. Now I heard about this really in earnest, maybe 10 years ago. Someone just said it to me in general, in passing. And I was like, nah, forget about that. You know, we live in life, move on and we grow and become bigger and better, wiser, smarter people. Why remember roots? Why, what for? Nah. And then just didn't think much of it. And then over time, things happen in your life. Successes, defeats, developments, things happen, whatever else. And then it just got me thinking more and more. And it's like, well, there is indeed some value actually to remembering your roots, remembering where you came from, remembering a place like this place. I remember it quite well from when I was a child. And I used to live maybe three or four kilometers from here. And sometimes I'd come here with dogs I used to have, three greyhounds and mum. Yeah, life, things here, so it's nice. So, so it seems then there's actually some value in remembering where you came from, remembering your roots. Why not? Remembering your past, your history, because I can remember conversations and places and events from 20 or so years ago. Here, even in here, you know, this, this uh, Thorsby Hall, I can remember. And it, uh, it's just amazing, it's just beautiful, it's just nostalgia, it's just part of life, you know, remembering things, nothing wrong with that, it's just you know, history. So it seems indeed worthwhile remembering your roots, where you came from, because you could say it made you you, it made you who you are, it made you who you are today. It, it, the formative years, and nice pampas grass here, used to have some of these where I used to live, pampas grass. The idea is, I think in the spring you burn it so it grows, or maybe autumn, I can't remember but nice, unique uh, plant. So remembering your roots, it, it's your formative years. It, it defined who you are. It created who you are, what you have today. It was the beginning, it's your history, your family heritage, you could even say. It's, it's who you are. Just going anywhere, just wandering, just wandering around. And it seems then that, yeah, you want to remember your roots because it's who you are and treasure it, treasure those moments, treasure the childhood, treasure the, the person who you used to be, treasure the past, recognize and value the past. It's who you were and it's where you came from and it's, it's your nostalgia ultimately. It's remembering and appreciating, appreciating your nostalgia and it's just who you are. So yeah, just got me thinking because as I, as I came here recently over the past, uh, well yesterday or day before, I was just thinking in general, like, I know this area quite well. I, I know how to get there, the roads. I know the area, I know the place. I know how to get around the town, the village, the roads here and there, very straightforward. And just a trip down memory lane, really. Going here, going there. So it just got me thinking, remembering your roots. Like, yes, it's worthwhile indeed. You know, I mean, I also think logically that every corner of the world, every corner of the world has got its own history its own past, its own nature, its own culture. So it's like, it's a bit, it's, a, it's everywhere, it's ubiquitous. You know, your roots, your history, everywhere, but it's yours, that's the difference. It's mine, it's yours. And that, we wanna treasure it, because when you think about it, it's a part of our personality. It's part of what makes us unique, as I said earlier. So we want to remember, keep it in mind, treasure it, value it, because it's part of us, makes sense. It just got me thinking out loud, so. And it was just nice to be here again. And I haven't been to Thorsby in 17 odd years, maybe 2007, eight, nine was the last time I was here. So a decade plus, easily, easily. And where I'm staying, the town, the little, small little town, I haven't slept in that area, in that place in easily 17 odd years as well. So it was just nice. and. What I also find is every Christmas, it's nice to revisit the places where I used to live and the nature in the places where I used to live, the adjacent forest, and just rediscover it, look at it again, appreciate it, and, uh, you know, just explore new places and rediscover childhood 
I guess that's part of remembering your roots, rediscovering your childhood, rediscovering new places that, you know, I didn't go to when I was too young because, and this is interesting, I didn't appreciate it as much. You know, nature, being outside, adventure, traveling, the forest that was literally in the back garden, quite literally, you know, a minute or so walk, didn't appreciate it. So it's got me thinking about life and remembering roots. Yeah. So it's worth understanding, you know, worth appreciating. Appreciating nature, appreciating places like this, appreciating your past, your, your history, your roots, like a, a fragment of your personality. Definitely. So, you got me thinking then. Remember your roots, damn worthwhile. Yeah. But otherwise, you will see me tomorrow. <laughs>